wish billionaires were fun eccentric and into riddles like in this book instead of what we have in real life. I'm looking at you, Jeff Bezos. Bezos. Who really cares? Hi, I'm Megan, and this is The Inheritance Games. The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes is 384 pages and is in the first book of the Inheritance Games series. It is described as a Cinderella story with deadly stakes and poses the question, if you were suddenly handed billions of dollars for no discernible reason, how would you change your life? The story follows Avery Grams, a disenfranchised teenager whose plan for the future lies in her ability to survive high school and win a scholarship to the college of her choice. But her fortunes change in an instant when billionaire Tobias Hawthorne dies and leaves Avery virtually his entire fortune. The catch? Avery has no idea why, or even who Tobias Hawthorne is. To receive her inheritance, Avery must move into a sprawling, secret passage-filled Hawthorne house, where every room bears the old man's love of puzzles, riddles, and codes. Unfortunately for Avery, Hawthorne House is also occupied by the family that Tobias Hawthorne just dispossessed. This includes the four Hawthorne grandsons, brilliant boys who grew up with every expectation that one day they would inherit billions, heir apparent Grayson Hawthorne is convinced that Avery must be a con woman, and he's determined to take her down. His brother Jameson views her as their grandfather's last hurrah, a puzzle to be solved. Caught in a world of wealth and privilege, with danger around every turn, Avery will have to play the game herself just to survive and to figure out why she is now one of the most powerful teenagers in the world. The Inheritance Games is built on a massive what if. What if you came from nothing and suddenly had everything? It's a book about mystery and figuring out the clues left behind by an enigmatic dead man. Not only is Avery contending with the mystery that continues to compound as the story progresses, but she also must traverse the worlds of the rich and privileged. There are a lot of reasons to like the Inheritance Games. For one, you're trying to solve the clues along with the characters. Two, the characters feel organic and their interactions aren't strained. There are times when I pick up a book and the first thing I notice is how unrealistic the dialogue is, which can make or break a story. This didn't have that problem. 3. It's a cool premise. Who wouldn't want to be called into their principal's office only to be told, hey, your financial troubles for the rest of your life are over. You're all set, congrats, you won. There are a few hang-ups with the book, however. The first is that Avery has no friends. Once she begins living in Hawthorne House with the family, her connections to the outside world virtually vanish. She has one friend that she keeps up with, and while I understand that being a loner is part of her character, not having those other connections makes the book a little weaker. The second is more of a personal vendetta against rags to riches stories where one person has literal billions of dollars and other people have nothing. Overall, I give the Inheritance Games 4 stars. I like watching people adapt to new environments. The mystery was engaging, and I think it's important to consider what kind of person you would be if you were given the choice to be whoever and whatever you wanted.